It's always nice to have some protein in your diet, and for some of you, meat is the only thing you eat. However, unlike berries and carrots, meat can actually run away, or in worst case, it can't even fight back. So here, in this episode of No Gameplay, Just Tutorial, we will be showing you mobs that are useful for their meats, along with some useful tips when hunting them, starting off with the easier prey that do not put up much of a fight. Moleworm is definitely the easiest meat available. They reside on grassland and deciduous forest and are active during dusk and night crawling underground in search for snacks. There is actually a whole list of items these creatures fancy, but using flint is recommended as it is the easiest to be found. Once you put the bait on ground, it will pop its head out giving you a chance to bash its skull in with whatever you have in hand. Easy enough, right? But wait, there is more. Relogging, otherwise known as quitting and coming back, will spawn another mole right away after you killed one. So you can kill to your heart's content from a single burrow. Is constant relogging too tedious for you? Then why not start a mole farm? Using hammer will capture these moles instead of killing them. Get as many mole worms as you need using the relogging method and dig up the original burrow. Once you release all the moles you have captured, you will now have whole up burrows than you started with. Killing one of them will cause rest to hide, but they will soon reappear after a few seconds, only to join their dead friends in heaven or in your stomach. Now rabbit is another creature just waiting to be your dinner, but this one knows how to run from you. Rabbits are found in grassland, forest and savanna, but mostly in savanna, as they hop mindlessly during the daytime of all seasons except for spring. The most natural way is to place a trap with a bait, or skip the trap and just put the bait on ground, and wait till it's too busy eating its last meal. Even though this is how the game wants you to play, this is the most inefficient method. Not only you waste your food you put as a bait, but it is a waste of time. Traps can be triggered as long as the rabbit gets close enough, meaning you can chase the rabbit into the trap like a lunatic, or place the trap right on top of the rabbit hole. If you are using the latter method, you can leave the area to do whatever you want, come back later to find a rabbit wriggling inside. However, if you leave the rabbit trap for more than two days, it will die of starvation, and all you will find is a morsel instead. Now if you are a bit of a cheater, use this glitch that allows you to get a bunch of morsels from a single bunny. Place a trap on ground and drop the rabbit on top, then quickly kill it. As you can see, the morsel is dropped, but the rabbit is also alive and well inside the trap. Maybe not so well, but alive anyway. As long as you can get the timing correct, you can get a bunch of meat from this one unfortunate rabbit. Now not all of you will agree butterflies as meat, but last time people checked, vegetables don't have wings, and you just can't ignore the health benefit it grants. They spawn from flowers during daytime of all seasons except winter. To catch one, you can wait nearby the flowers and attack as soon as it spawns, or if you are planning to chase one, wait till it lands on a flower or flutters around a specific spot, then go prove how manly you are by punching him right in the face. Of course, clicking to attack a small moving butterfly may be difficult, and that is why you should use the force attack key, which is Control F. With a bit of luck, you will receive a stick of butter instead of butterfly wings, a quite healthy and rare dairy product. Gobblers are possibly one of the nastiest among these neutral creatures. It spawns randomly from berry bushes you recently picked from, and if spawned during daytime, Gobbler will run around to eat every berries in the area. In short, they simply must die. Fortunately, its brain is not as fast as its legs, so tossing any fruits and vegetable on ground will bring this fat bird right into your arms holding an axe. Perhaps not the most preferred meat, but fish is still relatively easy to come by. To catch a fish, all you need is to find a pond and have a fishing rod in hand. After casting a line, wait and click once hook appears. Then you must click again to reel the fish in. If you take too long before reeling the fish, you will lose the fishing rod. But it takes more than a few seconds before that could happen, so unless you happen to die in real life while fishing in this game, it's all very simple. Keep in mind that the more often you fish in the same pond, the longer it will take for another fish to come along. That is not a problem if you come across an area where you find a cluster of these ponds. The actual problem is the creatures that spawn from these waters. Ponds in grassland will spawn frogs during daytime and those in swamp will spawn mosquitoes during dusk and night. Both very hostile. Therefore it is advised you choose the right time and place to go fishing. 
On the next chapter, we will talk about moms that will fight for their lives or consider you as their meat. But don't worry, all you need to know is that 